Breaking, DOJ releasing smoking gun docs Obama and holders had hidden, they found it all. Barack Obama could easily be the most corrupt president of modern times, but do not try to tell him or his millions of adoring followers that. Since Obama left office, he has been busy traipsing around the world bashing President Trump and telling throngs of his rabid supporters how he is the most loved, transparent, and scandal-free president of our time. Well, Obama may want to keep quiet about being transparent and scandal-free considering what the Department of Justice has found on him and his crooked buddy, Eric Holder that they tried to keep hidden from the American people for years. The reason that the left has been in absolute hysterics since Donald Trump won the election is not only based on irrational hatred and childish antics but the fact that Hillary Clinton was supposed to make sure that all the horrible crimes committed under Obama's watch stayed hidden. However, that plan did not work out as intended and Trump and the DOJ are busy revealing the corruption that took place in the Obama administration. One of the biggest scandals that occurred during Obama's terrible presidency was the detestable fast and furious operation that the Obama administration tried to cover up. For years, that entire scandal has been shrouded in mystery as the American people have wondered what the truth behind this gun-running operation was, and now we may finally have some answers. The Department of Justice announced this past Wednesday that they were in possession of additional documents concerning Fast and Furious and that they were being released to the House Oversight Committee. Here is more from Town Hall. The Department of Justice announced Wednesday additional documents related to the Operation Fast and Furious scandal during the Obama administration will be released to the House Oversight Committee. The documents were previously withheld by Attorney General Eric Holder who was voted in civil and criminal contempt of Congress for refusing to turn them over. President Obama invoked executive privilege in June 2012 to prevent their release just hours before the contempt vote was held. The Department of Justice under my watch is committed to transparency and the rule of law. This settlement agreement is an important step to make sure that the public finally receives all the facts related to Operation Fast and Furious. Attorney General Jeff Sessions released in a statement. The department stated the document release is part of the conditional settlement agreement, filed in federal court in Washington, D.C. and would end six years of litigation arising out of the previous administration's refusal to produce documents requested by the committee. During an interview with Fox and Friends Tuesday, the brother of slaying Border Patrol agent Brian Terry called on the Trump administration to reopen the investigation into the operation and to release previously withheld documents. We need to find out the truth, exactly what happened, how it happened, why it happened. We need Mr. Trump, President Trump, to unseal the documents, reverse executive privilege so that we know what happened, and that we can hold the people accountable that are responsible, Kent Terry said. Terry was murdered by Mexican cartel rep crew members in December 2010. They were carrying guns illegally trafficked by ATF to Mexico through the Fast and Furious program. Operation Fast and Furious was a secret ATF program, overseen heavily at the highest levels at the Department of Justice, which took place between September 2009 and December 2010. ATF agents repeatedly and knowingly allowed individuals working for Mexican cartels to traffic thousands of AK-47s, .50 caliber rifles and handguns into Mexico. Over the last several weeks, there has been chatter about Eric Holder running for president, but with these new documents, it could put a damper on his plans, right? At any rate, the whole purpose for Hillary Clinton to win the election in 2016 was to keep these horrible crimes buried from the public, but now that Trump is in office they are all being exposed which makes the far left very uncomfortable. The only way that they can ensure that these crimes will stay hidden from the American people is by running a Democratic candidate who could beat Trump and then delete this all forever. That is why the 2018 midterm elections are so important. Everyone one of us needs to get out there and vote to make sure that conservatives stay in office so that Trump can continue to drain the swamp. It will take years to do, but we are on the right track, and these new revelations into Fast and Furious prove just that. that.